I'm a little late jumping on. Come on, what to God be all the glory that we are meeting here on tonight, people of God. Just give me a second to pin to the bottom of the screen. Um, as you guys come in, please do me a favor and get at everyone, at followers, at highlights. I'm currently pinning it to the bottom of the screen. Come on in, people of God. Come on in, begin to tag and share my apologies for jumping on late. But you guys know about an hour and a half ago, <coughs> excuse me, I just jumped off a plane. There's definitely a word on tonight. If you guys can come in very quickly, beginning to tag and share. Come on. There's a message, people of God. Rabbi Kosaya. Y'all know I just came out of a two-night revival in South Carolina, so please excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. People of God, if I'm still a little on cloud nine, God has been doing some amazing things in my life, and I'm grateful. But there is a message that I have for everybody who's watching on tonight. But what I'm going to need you to do is to come in tagging and sharing. There is one thing I'm going to require for you to do on tonight, and that's to begin to tag and share. Come on. So we can build a audience, people of God. Come on. on of nothing but demon slayers. Do you know, people of God, that the enemy is threatened every time that we meet at this point? The enemy is threatening, people of God, every time you begin to jump on my live. Why? Because he know I have one assignment and one assignment only, and that's to encourage you to keep going. Come on in, people of God, and begin to tag and share. I am also inviting people to this live. Come on, as you come in, it's very simple. I just need you to comment in the comment section. Come on, at followers, at everyone, at highlights. Come on, that's the quickest way. Watch this, people of God, to invite everybody to this live. Please give me a second as I begin to invite some people who I know is going to come in tagging and sharing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what you're believing God for on tonight, but I do believe, people of God. Tonight will be the night, my God, that you get clarity. Clarity, Rabbi Kosaya. Clarity to different things you're needing God to do. So tonight I'm going to ask that you come in, my God. With the full armor of God for what God is about to do. Y'all already know I'm not going to get started. Come on, until I feel like everybody is present. Please come on in, people of God, and begin, my God, to tag and share. Come on, there is definitely, people of God, a sound that is going forth. I don't know what you're needing God to do, but I truly believe, Rabbi Kosaya, Come on, that after tonight, you're going to get clarity. You're going to get wisdom. You're going to get strength, people of God. So come on in. Come on, the quicker you begin to tag and share. Come on, the quicker we can begin to back up the enemy. The quicker, people of God, you begin to come in and tag and share. The quicker we can tear down mountains together. I don't know who needs to hear this on tonight. But hear me and hear me well. The enemy is about to be upset. Why? Because he's going to be defeated. Come on, if I can get all my snipers in the spirit. Come on, to begin to tag and share. Come on, if you're a sniper in the spirit, you are surely tagging and sharing. <coughs> Give me a second, people of God. I'm going to take my second phone and begin to tag and share. Lord Jesus, when I tell you I look a mess after this weekend, Come on in, come on in, excuse me. If you see me looking down at my phone, people of God, <coughs> excuse me, it's because I'm also sharing this live. Come on, I don't gotta be looking at you for you to do, watch this. Come on, what I ask. The quickest way to put a seed in the ground is by simply tagging and sharing. I don't know about you, people of God, but I just came from a revival, Rabbi Kosaya, where I watched the enemy, watch this, back up every demonic force as I begin to speak. So I decree and declare on tonight, <coughs> and this is why all of a sudden, the enemy is trying to attack my voice. 
I decree and declare on tonight that as you begin to, people of God, come in, tagging and sharing. As I begin to release this word over your life on tonight, <coughs> I decree and declare that your life will never be the same. But y'all know I got to feel a release in my spirit. So as you come in, I ask that you comment what you see to the bottom of the screen. It's really simple. At followers, at everyone, at highlights. Come on, I want y'all to see. I'm inviting some people, watch this, through their inbox. So I ain't telling you to do nothing that I ain't doing myself. Come on, tonight, people of God, we're going mighty God. Come on, to another dimension. Tonight, people of God, watch this. We are telling the devil that we're standing on one accord on the battlefield tonight. My God, people of God, we're going higher. Come on, people of God, for just another three minutes, if I can get you to tag and share. If I can get you to tag and share, I'm going to start TikTok. So just give me a second. Come on, there's a sound that's taking place on tonight. Reiki under the back of today. There's a sound that's taking place on tonight. Roko sataba shiande. Rabababako sataba shiande. I come against every witch that is watching right now in the name of Jesus. Raba rekiande. I break the back of any demonic force. Rama kosaya. Come on, coming in to interfere. There is definitely a word, people of God. Come on in, I feel God, come on. But I need your help on tonight. Come on, tonight I'm gonna ask for you to do me a favor. Come on, and immediately begin to share this live. Come on, I need some taggers and some sharers on tonight. Come on, I need some people ready for war on tonight. I don't know what you're believing God for, but it's happening on tonight. I decree and declare. Come on, every demon got to back up on tonight. I need some people on tonight that say Satan. Rabbi Kosiah, not on my watch anymore. You can't have my children, not on my watch anymore. You can't have my relationship, not on my watch anymore. You can't have my finances, not on my watch anymore. Y'all gotta excuse me. I just came out of revival in South Carolina for two nights straight. So I'm still, my God, I'm still up in the different heaven realms. Mighty God, people of God, but tonight we come to break the back of the enemy. If you're watching on TikTok, come on, with one thing I'm going to require for you to do is give me those hearts to let me know you are present. The second thing, people of God, I'm going to require for you to do on TikTok is to take two seconds and share this live. Come on, there's a button to the bottom of the screen. Come on, it don't require you to do nothing. <coughs> Just hit share. Come on, I come against Satan trying Rabbi Kosaya to take my voice on tonight. I come against every witch in the name of Jesus. Y'all might don't know, but it's witches watching on tonight. Why? Watch this. Because they don't want you to get your breakthrough. <coughs> but the devil is defeated. Y'all got to excuse me. I've been hooting and hollering all weekend. I've been breaking demons backs all weekend. Ooh. There's a sound that's taking place though. There's a sound. I see. Oh Jesus. There's a sound that's taking place. Araba. Rekiandaba. Roko sataba shiande. Let me put on my prayer shawl. Because I see that the enemy is trying to Rabbi Kosaya, stop the word on tonight. Come on in, people of God. I'm not seeing enough hearts on TikTok. Come on, let me shout out some of my obedient people that's on Facebook and on TikTok on tonight. Come on, it shows me when you share the live. It shows me, people of God. Watch this. When Rabbi Kosaya, it shows me, people of God, when you begin to tag and share, I said, everybody on Facebook and TikTok, I need you to comment in the comment section. Come on, at everyone. Could you drop that in the comment section? Put the at sign in everyone. I need to know that everybody is paying attention. And that we are, watch this, people of God. We are on one accord. Because something happens. Rabbi Kosaya. 
when you begin to get on one accord, the message that God has given me for tonight is coming to tear up Rabbi Kosanya. Everything in your household, meaning everything that got a hold on your children, everything that got a hold on your health, everything that got a hold on your finances, we break it up by fire tonight. Come on, I want to see fire emojis in the comment section. So we can let the devil know that hell, my God, has nothing on God's consuming fire. This message on tonight is about to shift some people's life. This message on tonight, Rabba Kosanya, Reiki on the Baya. I don't know who, who needs to hear this message, but I just heard the Holy Spirit saying, turn the phone up even louder. I don't care if you're watching me on your computer. Baby, turn it up even louder. Turn it up to where, watch this. My voice, Rabbi Kosaya, begin to block out the voice of the enemy that's telling you God ain't going to answer your prayers. Oh, I feel God, people of God. I feel God, people of God. Come on, I ain't seeing enough fire emojis. Drop them, drop them, drop them, drop them. Come on, there's a sound that's taking place. Uh, the quickest way to put a seed in the ground. Watch this, people of God. Has nothing to do with money. I'm just asking you to tag and share. Tag some people you care about. Come on, share this live on TikTok. Come on, it's too many of y'all watching on TikTok 250. Come on, we ain't seeing enough shares. Come across the screen. Come on, come on, there's a sound. I can't get started. Come on, until we go higher. I can't get started until we go higher. Come on, I can't get started until we go higher. Rabba Kosaya. How you doing? How you doing? Rabba Kosaya. Watch this, people of God. The Lord told me. He told me that tonight's message, watch this, was it's at the mountaintop. And I promise you, if you just ride with me on cruise control for a little bit, I'm going to crank up at the end. Well, I can't make you no promises tonight because I feel the glory of God all over me. So I'm trying to teach and not preach, but I feel like just telling somebody, Rabbi Kosaya, that he's a way maker. Rabbi, Rabbi, listen to me. On tonight, people of God, God is saying whatever you need is at the mountaintop. Just give me a second. I'm going to make sure it makes sense for you. Rabbi Kosaya, Tamika Smith over on TikTok. Thank you for sharing the live. Wait a minute. Let me dispatch angels. May God, Rabbi Kosaya, send angels to everybody who, Jesus, that shared this live, that commented, that tag, make it begin to work on your issues and your problems before I even drop the word. Rabbi Kosaya, Come on. I said share. Tag and share, tag and share. We're going higher tonight. I want somebody to drop that in the comment section. We're going higher. Welcome. I'm Dr. Shakira McFatton. Baby, if you ain't never been on my page before, on my page, you're going to get rawness and you're going to get realness. Rawness and realness. Watch this, people of God. There are two things I'm requiring for you to do all night long. That's if I say something that bless your spirit, begin to comment back to back to back to back. Why? Because we prophesy through our fingers. The same way you got time to text and argue, come on, you can use your fingers to speak over your life. So if I say something that bless your spirit, begin to tag back to back to back. Come on, all my new people jumping on. Come on, on Facebook, at the bottom of the screen, you see the words at everyone, at followers, at highlights. Thank you for the gifts on TikTok already. I love y'all so much. Watch this, people of God. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the message. I'm going to try to stay on cruise control. But it's one thing I'm requesting on tonight. Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Watch this, people of God. If you see me go high, Rabbi Kosaya, don't let me leave you behind. Tonight, we're about to climb a mountaintop, Rabbi Kosaya. And as we begin to climb this mountain, come on, we're going to decree and declare on tonight. There is no man left behind. I want you to put that in the comment section. There's no man left behind. I've been slaying demons all weekend in South Carolina so tonight I didn't come to play with the devil and this is why I'm already on a hundred because I just left out a revival in South Carolina but baby God revival is still tonight on Facebook and TikTok watch this tonight's message people of God 
The message tonight is it's at the mountaintop. I need somebody to put in the comment section with capital letters twice back to back mountaintop. What you're needing, God is saying, it's at the mountaintop. Watch this, people of God. As you begin to envision what a mountain looks like, you automatically think of mighty God going to the top. It seems like, watch this, there are mountains before us that begin to rabakosaya. Watch this, sometimes they look too high to climb. But God is saying, just come a little higher. I need you to meet me at the mountaintop. Oh, I need somebody to just come in three times. Three different times, back to back to back, I'm going higher. God, take us higher on tonight. Father, I pray over this live right now, God, that everybody that is watching under the sound of my voice, God, you begin to take them higher in you, God. God, I ask that as they go higher, everything that is dead will begin to fall off, God. As they go higher, God, you'll begin to elevate them at different levels, God, financially, mentally, physically, emotionally, as we go higher on tonight nights baby thank you for the gifts on TikTok it's at the mountaintop God told me to come and tell you on tonight that listen he said daughter and son he said I need you to come a little higher people of God watch this as I begin to look up the definition of the word higher watch this it meant three easy words blew my mind because Anytime I look for the definition of something, I try to look for it in different ways. Watch this, people of God. But when I looked up the definition, no matter what version of the dictionary I read it, there was only three words. I want somebody to drop in the comment section three words. Watch this, people of God. The definition of mighty God higher, watch this, simply means to go up. I need y'all to catch this tonight. I need you to catch this in your spirit tonight. If you are going higher, if God is saying it's at the mountaintop, so you got to come a little higher, it simply means that he's asking you, watch this, to go up. I want somebody to put in the comment section, I'm going up. Come on, three words, I'm going up, I'm going up. Watch this, people of God. I begin to study what begins to take place as you begin to climb a mountain. God is saying there are three things that take place. Rabbi Kosaya, I want you to just catch this in the spiritual realm. On tonight, there are three things that will begin to take place as you go higher, people of God. Watch this. God is saying, watch this. It's at the bottom of the mountain, my God. Watch this. Where you decide, my God, to make the biggest decision of your life. I want somebody to put, I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. It's at the bottom of, oh, Jesus Christ, of the mountain. I just told you there were three levels to climbing a mountain. The first level, people of God, it's the bottom. I want somebody to put in the comment section, number one, the bottom. Come on, I want you to comment the bottom. Back to back to back to back. One thing about being at the bottom, people of God, is this. While you're at the bottom, my God, the only thing you can do left is go up. There are people that got a problem with being at the bottom. There are people, my God, are embarrassed about being at the bottom. But I am here to tell you, people of God, if you are at the bottom, you better rejoice. Why? Because there's only one way you can go, and that's up. Watch this. God said at the bottom of the mountain, Watch this, it's where you gotta make the big, oh Jesus, the biggest decision of your life. Uh, come on, there's a mental battle that's taking place. Uh, watch this, people of God, you got to begin to figure out, my God, uh, if you're gonna get up and climb, my God, uh, or you're gonna give up and stay where you are. I know there's some of y'all saying, no, 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 that's not a hard decision. But the devil is a liar. There are some of you, if you are honest with yourselves, you are in a place, my God, where you feel like giving up. There are some of you, if you can be honest with yourself, you are in a place, my God, where you're comfortable at the bottom, my God. And God is saying, I'm just calling you a little higher. I'm calling you a little higher. I'm calling you a higher. I'm saying, I need you to go up. Everything you need is at the top of the mountain. And God is saying, watch this. It's at the bottom of the mountain. 
people of God, watch this. Uh, that all your enemies, my God, they get comfortable. Oh, I want you to put that in the comment section. My enemies are comfortable. What do you mean by that, Dr. Shakira? At the bottom of the mountain, you have the, oh Jesus, you have the most friends. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to bless y'all with this. Come on, I ain't seen enough hearts on TikTok. I ain't seen enough hearts on Facebook. I said, it's at the bottom of the mountain you have the most, my God, friends. People want to be around you when you're down. Because as long as you are down, they are okay with you stuck. At that point, somebody say, it's at the bottom. Come on, I need y'all to catch up. I know y'all like she on a hundred old right here. I just said I just left revival in South Carolina. So watch this. The glory is still on me. I said it's at the oh Jesus. It's at the bottom of the mountain. You have the most company. Hear me and hear me. God said to tell the people of God at the bottom of the mountain. Watch this. This is where the collision of attacks take place. <clears throat> Somebody might have missed that. At the bottom of the mountain, there's a collision of attacks that take place. That means you move. Watch this, people of God. At the bottom of the mountain, come on, this is where you, oh Jesus, all of your attacks begin to collide. It's one thing after another, after another, after another. My God is at the bottom of the mountaintop. He said to tell you people of God, watch this. At the back, oh Jesus, at the bottom of the mountaintop, watch this. It's where all your bad soul ties are. My God, the people who watch this love to sit around and watch you sweat. They want to give Rabbi Kosanya. They want to give you advice. But at the same time, thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Oh, Rabbi Kosanya. They want to give you advice. But at the same time, they love the fact, my God, that you are only in a place where you depend on them. God is saying tonight, it's at the, oh Jesus, it's at the mountaintop. He said, I need you to come a little higher. Come on, I need somebody to drop that in the comment section twice back to back. Come on, I'm going higher. I'm going higher. And God began to tell me, people of God, while you're at the bottom of the mountain, at the lowest place in your life, don't be my God shocked if you get pinched by crabs. Because watch this. Crabs in a bucket don't never want you to make it out. He said it's at the bottom of the mountain. You will begin to make the most important decision of your life. There's a battle in your mind. Do I leave or do I stay? There's a battle in your mind. Do I stay stuck and disgusted? Or do I decide to get back up and fight again? Rabbi Kosaya. There's a battle in your mind. Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Watch this people of God. Do I decide? Huh? Do I really want to? Oh, Jesus. Do I got enough strength to climb to the top of this thing? And God is saying, come a little higher. He said, come a little higher. But watch this, people of God, before you can go a little higher. He said to tell the people of God, Ephesians 6, 10 and 11 must happen. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 and 11 says this. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. God is basically saying you can't make it to the top in your own strength. Oh, you're going to act like you don't know what I'm saying. You tried to do it all by yourself plenty of times. And got defeated along the way. Got talked about along the way. Got misunderstood along the way. Got dropped and left abandoned along the way. It's at the bottom of the mountaintop, people of God. Before you will begin to climb, Rabbi Kosaya, you're going to need the full armor of God. Verse 10 says, finally be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power, verse 11 says this. The most important thing you're going to need while climbing. Watch this. He said to put on the full armor of God so that you may stand against the devil's scheme. Oh, I dare somebody to put in the comment section, baby, I'm standing. I'm still standing. I don't know about you, but I'm standing. Watch this and I'm suited and booted. That's the problem, people of God. There are some of you that want to climb the mountaintop and 
God is saying this type of mountain you're climbing in your life uh, you can't have on high heels trying to look cute uh, this time of ooh Jesus around this type of uh, mountain you're climbing right now fellas uh, come on you gotta be focused my God you can't come on be focused on a big butt and a smile not when you're ooh Jesus climbing this type of mountain God said at the bottom of the mountain you got to make the most important decision of your life uh, do I quit or do I fight uh, do I give in or do I climb Jesus Christ uh, I don't know who need to hear this on tonight but baby put your tears away put your tears away baby God is saying pack your tears uh, pack up your anxiety leave it at the bottom of the mountain cause it can't go where you going somebody ought to put in the comment section three times back to back it can't go it can't go he said to tell the people of God tonight's message is it's at the mountain top so you gotta come up a little higher come up a little higher the definition people of God of the word higher means to go up so I begin to study a little bit more people of God and as I begin to study a little bit more watch this God begin to tell me watch this when you decide to get up and give another try when you decide I'm gonna oh Jesus climb this mountain by any means necessary when you decide that I gotta get to the top Rabbi Kosaya watch this he said at midpoint view watch this the devil gonna try to take you out I want somebody to put in the comment section I'm halfway there see being halfway there is at a oh Jesus Christ at a dangerous space hear me and hear me well y'all better focus on me and the word of God and not the comments people are commenting because the enemy will distract you hear me and hear me well keep them hearts coming over on TikTok come on I'm talking to all 300 of you watch this people of God he said the midpoint view is the most dangerous view why because if I'm halfway there watch this people of God I gotta determine do I go back down because I'm exhausted or do I keep climbing could somebody put that in the comment section, baby? I'm going to keep climbing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep climbing. Watch this. I didn't even think that I could make it where I made it so far. There are some of you, watch this. You say, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm sure not where I used to be. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm talking to some people on tonight, Robo Kosaya, that say, my God, you should respect me at the level of act. Because if you would have knew to hold me, if you, oh, Jesus, I just heard the Holy Spirit say for some of the men, you say, if you would have knew to hold me, I was a woman, not, sir. come on, I was a hoe back in the day. Sir. I hear the Lord saying, some of the women are saying, God, if you would have knew the old me. The old me wouldn't have took you back time and time again. Rabbi Kosaya. Watch this. You say I'm, I'm midway there and I'm not where I want to be. Rabbi Kosaya. But mighty God, I'm not where I used to be at the bottom. Rabbi Kosaya. Watch this. You've gotten halfway there. Thank you for the heart on TikTok. God is saying when you're at your halfway point, watch this. You're out of breath. When climbing a mountain, did you know that when climbing a mountain, the higher you go, watch this, your oxygen level, watch this, it begins to get more faint. Oh, I can scream. I'm going to break this down for you. He said to tell you, as you go higher, the higher you go, the higher you climb, people of God, your oxygen level, it begins to get more faint. He said, as the altitude increases, the oxygen breath, it begins to reduce. What are you saying, Dr. Shakir McFadden? You're going to feel like while fighting, the enemy is choking the life out of you. You're going to want to die. This is when suicidal thoughts kick in. This is when you begin to say it's me against the world. This Rabbi Kosai people of God you'll know that you're midpoint view if you feel like I 
can't breathe. My head is below water. I feel like I can't breathe. It feels like the who Jesus. The walls are caving in on me. That's how you know Rabakosaya. You at midpoint view. I dare somebody to be honest and just comment three times back to back. My God, I can't breathe. I can't breathe so I know a midpoint root. God say that's the point where you got to decide. Watch this. Are you going to go back down to the crabs below and give up? Do you decide? Do I do I give in cuz I can't make it another step? Your body it becomes exhausted. Exhausted. Watch this. From carrying everybody burdens, Rabba Kosaya, Ehu Jesus, it becomes exhausted, my God, from having to play mommy when you ain't even got enough strength. Rabba Kosaya, it becomes exhausted, my God, fellas, when all you're trying to do is provide. Rabba Kosaya, come on, but the system won't let you do it the right way. It becomes exhausting, people of God, when you begin to say it's too much, it's too much. It's too heavy. Could you imagine people of God climbing to the top of the mountain? My God. Oh, Jesus. I just heard this in the spirit. Oh, Rabba Baba said today, hey, watch this. Could you imagine climbing to the top of the mountain with something so heavy on your back? I'm midway, Rabba Kosai. I'm trying not to scream. I'm midway view of this thing. I'm almost there, but I'm exhausted. God, could you just help me? I'm trying to get to the top, but I'm out of breath. The Bible says, people of God, that God will be your strength, my God, when you have none. I'm exhausted. <coughs> I'm carrying some things, but my answers are top of the, oh Jesus, the top of the mountain. I'm exhausted. I dare you to comment three times back to back. I'm exhausted. Watch this, people of God, and this is something I want to break down to you. That when you are midpoint view on this mountain, people of God, you got to get ready to face witches and warlocks face to face. What are you saying, Dr. Shakira? It's at your midpoint, my God, view, my God, while climbing the mountain. That Watch this. They begin to send the witchcraft after you. And the reason they begin to send the witchcraft after you, people of God, because in their mind, they're thinking they just might make it. So you mean to tell me, God, I got to climb this thing with a big old book bag that's full of all my issues and all my problems. A midway there, I'm exhausted from climbing to this middle point, God. You mean to tell me, on, on top of being exhausted, Rabbi Kosanya, you going to allow the enemy to take my breath? Because as I go higher, you mean to tell me, mighty God, my oxygen level, it begins to fade. And on top of all that, God, you didn't even let me know that when I started this journey my God the witches was going to be after my life you didn't let me know that as I started this journey people of God as I got halfway there people I called friends and I called Bay and Boo was become Jesus Christ was going to become my enemies you didn't tell me that I was going to face all this Somebody ought to drop that in the comment section two times back to back. Lord, you didn't tell me. Lord, you didn't tell me. I'm being honest with you, God. You didn't tell me. My God, as you gave me, my God, the medicine, Jesus, to climb the mountain. I didn't read in the small letter the side effects. You didn't tell me it would come with nausea and anxiety. You didn't tell me it would come with tiredness and faintness. My God, I didn't read the side effects. Do you know, people of God, the side effects would take you out before the medication even kick in? What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Come on, watch this. They'll tell you I'm giving you something, my God, for nausea. But it may cause you, uh, my God, to have diarrhea, upset stomach. Uh, it may cause you to have slight headaches. My God, this supposed to make me better or get me worse. Somebody say, I'm focusing on the side effects. 
If you can overcome the side effects, baby, you got this. Uh, so watch this, people of God. It's midpoint view of the mountain. I'm almost there. Watch this. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but it's at midpoint view. Watch this. You're going to have people treat you some kind of way. But watch this, people of God. Uh, you'll also begin to realize, watch this, mighty God, mighty God, that there are some people who started with you that didn't make it along the way. I want somebody to put in the comment section boldly. God remove everybody from my life that shouldn't be there. You see, the higher you go, the more they see the success. The more they see you accelerating. The more they see you going up. The more they see you going a little higher. Come on, they'll begin to fall off. Because how dare you begin to watch this. Put in action everything you had a vision for. How dare you begin to stand on everything you said. So you'll see some messy people falling away. At midpoint view of the mountain. And God is saying the last important thing of the midpoint view of the mountain. Is the enemy going to try to keep you distracted? Thank you for the gifts on TikTok. Watch this. Watch this. Come on. I ain't seeing enough hearts on TikTok. Come on. Come on. Come on. Facebook. Give me some hearts. Come on. I need to know y'all love the message on tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drop hearts in the comment section. Come on. Back to back to back. Come on. Give me the heart button. Come on. And drop hearts. If this message is for you, thank you for the gift on TikTok. Come on. I need you to act like this message is for you on tonight. Watch this, people of God. The last thing you got to pay attention to uh, when you are midpoint at the mountain Tonight's message, people of God, if some of you are just now tuning in, is it's at the mountaintop. So you got to come a little higher. God is saying what you need is at the mountaintop. So he's calling you a little higher. So watch this, people of God, at midpoint view. Uh, the last most important thing when you're halfway up the mountain, you got to remember. Is the enemy is going to do anything to keep you distracted from climbing. I want somebody to drop that in the comment section. Devil, you can't distract me. What are you saying, people of God? Watch this. The enemy wants you to drink your pain away. The enemy wants you, watch this, to smoke your pain away. The enemy wants you to pop your pain away with pain pills. Rabba Kosaya. And some of you, the enemy wants you to eat your pain away. What are you saying, Dr. Shakira? The enemy wants you to shop your pain away. What I'm saying, people of God, is people handle my God pain different ways. There are some people when they're depressed, they eat. There are some people when they're depressed, they shop. There are some people when they're depressed, they drink. There are some people when they depressed they get high the enemy want to distract you I will say this that even when you come down off of that high or that drunkenness or whatever you're doing the problem will still be there so the enemy watch this wants to distract you God told me to give you on tonight 1 Peter verse 5 I mean 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 through 11 hear this I'm giving you different scriptures from different levels of the mountain. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 through 11 says this. It says, keep a cool head. Stay alert. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. That means the enemy want to keep you, catch you slipping. He wants you to walk around with your head down. He wants you to depress. Watch this. It then says this, people of God, keep your guard up. You're not the only ones plunged into these hard times. It's the same thing with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on your faith. The suffering won't last forever. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, joy comes in the morning. Come on, I need you to move when I move. I just told you we're prophesying through our thumbs. The Bible then says this. It won't be long before this generous God who has great plans for you. Watch this. And great plans they are will have you put together and on your feet for good. He gets the last word. Yes, he does. That's 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 through 11 in the Message Bible version. Come on, I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 through 11. And I want you to read that. And, oh, Jesus, I got to read that one more time. It says, keep a cool head. Stay alert while you are at the midpoint of the, of the mountain. The devil is poised to pounce, meaning the devil is bound to attack. And would like nothing better than catch you with your head down. Watch this. Keep your guard up. 
You're not the only one going through hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on your faith. The suffering won't last forever. It won't be long before this generous God who has great plans for you. My God, in great plans they are, will have you put together and on your feet for good. I need somebody to put in the comment section, I'm about to be set for good. When I get to the top, I'm about to be set for good. So after, watch this, people of God, at this midway point. Come on, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Watch this, at this midway point, you got to begin to deal with your mind. You got to say, I'm overwhelmed, but I got to keep climbing. I'm going to the top. Hear me. Come on, I just want you to comment the word, keep climbing. Seven times. Back to back to back, seven times. Seven different comments. Why? Because seven is the number of the completion. When, watch this, at the midpoint, come on, even if you get overwhelmed, you got to say, I'm going to keep climbing. Come on, if, even if you get tired, you got to say, I'm going to keep climbing. Even if you want to give up, you got to say, I'm going to keep, keep climbing. Even if people begin to fall off, you got to say, I'm going to keep climbing. Come on, even if I can't see the top of the mountain, you got to say, I'm going to keep climbing. Why? Because God is saying, it's at the mountaintop, so I'm calling you higher. Come on, I don't see enough people commenting back to back. I'm giving you the keys to unlock what God is about to do next in your life. I'm going to keep climbing. I'm going to keep on climbing. I'm going to keep on climbing. And I might be, ooh, Jesus, be climbing with tears in my eyes, but I'm going to keep on climbing. Come on, my foot might hurt. My back might be bad. My knees might be weary and tired, but I'm going to keep climbing. Watch this. So the second, my God, part of the mountain, people of God, I need y'all to put number two, it's midpoint view. Watch this midpoint view of the mountain. But watch this, people of God. God is telling me to tell you, the most important part of the mountain is the prominent peak. Oh, I got to watch it every time I say that word because I know what it means. As I was studying this, I was screaming, the most Rabba Kosaya, Rabba Kosaya, part of the mountain people of God is the prominent peak. Why? Because my God, when you get to the top of the mountain, at the very top, the view is everything. At the very top, my God, there's something spectacular. At the very top, you begin to see your blessings. Come on, at the prominent peak, at the very top, it's where you at the prayers are at the oh Jesus Christ at the very top I need somebody to put that in the comment section at the very top where you going at baby I'm going to the top why you going so hard I'm trying to get to the top come on why you ain't got no friends no more I'm going to the top why you ain't been going to the club lately I'm headed to the top why you ain't been hanging out for girls night I'm going to the top why you ain't been answering the phone for me I'm going to the top he said at the top of the the prominent peak of the mountain, the very top. It's a spectacular view. Watch this, the most important people of God. Watch this, reality sets in. And you begin to realize what you just accomplished. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, reality about to kick in. Come on. Reality about to kick in. There are some of you that are overcame things and you still don't know when you got the strength to do it, baby. Reality. Reality about to kick in. I don't look like what I've been through. Watch this. But I can realize now because I'm at the, oh Jesus, the prominent peak. That means from the top, everything looks good. That means I can see what's beneath me. I can see what I overcame. My God, hear me and hear me well. Watch this. Some of the people who took a short trail along the way, they won't reap the same reward as you. Watch this. At the very top people of God. This is what blesses me. When I was reading and studying mountains, they said when people get to the prominent peak of the mountain, people of God, even watch this, though there's barely any oxygen, because they're at a different altitude, watch this, they get a sense of relief. Ooh! That means I'm relieved because God just took my birth. 
that Rabakosaya. That means I'm relieved, Rabakosaya. I'm relieved, my God, because I can see the works of my hands. I'm, I'm relieved because I'm about to get answered prayers. So God is saying tonight's message, people of God, was it's at the mountaintop. So I need you to come a little higher. He said at the third stage of the mountain, it's the prominent Oh, Jesus, the prominent peak. Uh, up there, you get the spectacular view. Uh, up there, your prayers are answered. Up there, you see your blessings. Up there, you get your relief. Most importantly, up there, watch this. You realize you're alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just said something. Rabba Kusan. Everything that was dead fell off along the way. There are some of you when you get to your success spot, Rabbi Kosaya, there's some people who got to fall off along the way. God is saying, watch this, they don't deserve to rejoice with you. So at the top of the mountain, watch this, so many people who weren't qualified to be in your life, you realize they fell off along the way. My God, they didn't want to put the work in. It's at the mountaintop, the witches, oh Jesus, they realize, can't touch this. It's at the mountaintop, watch this, the witchcraft realize, you got an MCM, a spirit on you, you can't touch this. It's at the mountaintop, my God, you begin to kick off demons and devils with the back of your foot along the way up. God is saying they're behind you for a reason, because they don't, de oh Jesus, deserve the spectacular view. At the mountaintop, at the mountaintop is where you say, I'm exhausted, but I'm elevated. Oh, Jesus, I'm exhausted, but I'm elevated. Could somebody drop that in the comment section a few times? I'm exhausted, but I'm elevated. I'm exhausted, but I'm elevated. Climbing along this mountain, I still got to be a parent. Climbing along this mountain, I still had to be a good wife or a good husband. Climbing along this mountain, my God, that was so difficult. Rabbi Kosaya, I still got to keep my head in the game, my God. God is saying to tell you, it will be well worth it, but I need you to come a little higher. I want somebody to drop in the comment section twice. I'm going up. Watch this, people of God. And when you get to the top of the mountain, the oh Jesus, the prominent peak, there are some scriptures you got to hold on to. Uh, watch this, Psalms 46 and 1 says this. Uh, God is our refuge and our strength. Uh, mighty God, a very present help in our times of trouble. When you get to the top, you got to remember, uh, I just came from the bottom. Uh, so even if the enemy tries to attack again, uh, Psalm 46 and 1 says, told me uh, that God is our refuge and our strength uh, in a very present, my God, help in our times of trouble. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, God help me. Come on, I'm about to wrap this up, but I need y'all to catch this in the spiritual realm. Watch this, people of God. 2 Timothy 4 and 18 says this. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever and ever. Forever is a long time. There are people who told you they will be with you forever and then turn their back literally on you. 2 Timothy 4 18 says this. The Lord will rescue you. Watch this. From evil attacks and will bring you safely to his kingdom. Watch this. To him be all the glory forever and ever and ever. Somebody put, oh Jesus, God, I'll trust you forever. I'll trust you forever, God. Watch this. And the last scripture on tonight, mighty God, the last scripture on tonight, when you make it to the prominent peak of the mountain, the very top, which you all are about to do. Why? Because we've decided, my God, that we're going to keep climbing. I want you to drop that in the comment section. I'm going to keep climbing. Rabbi Kosanya, the most important people of God scripture on tonight uh, is Isaiah 41, 8 through 10. I want somebody to drop that in the comment section. Isaiah 41, 8 through 10. 
We're most paying attention to verse 10, but I'm going to start at verse 8. Come on, Isaiah 41, 8 through 10. Isaiah 41 says this, 8 through 10. But you, people of God, my God, you, Israel, my servant, my God, you're Jacob, my first choice. God is saying, you're his first choice. Watch this. Oh, Jesus. It says this. Oh, this is going to bless you. I pulled you in. Watch this. From all over the world. I called you in from every dark corner of the earth. Telling you, you are mine. Serving on my side. I picked you up and I have not dropped you. Don't panic. I am with you. There's no need to fear, mighty God, for I am your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady and keep a firm grip on you. I'm going to read verse 10 again. And I'm reading from the Message Bible. It says this. Watch this. I picked you. This is what blessed me. I haven't dropped you. There are some of you been dropped by people all your life. There are some of you from birth, mama and daddy dropped you. Some of you couldn't even be children. Why? You had to raise your sisters and brothers. My God. Come on, there are some of you, you grew up in foster care. Because mama and daddy dropped you. There are some of you, you put so much into a relationship. And then your significant other dropped you. There are some of you went so hard for your friends. My God. And then at the moment you need them, they dropped you. But God is saying, I picked you. I have not dropped you. And then he says this, don't panic. I'm with you. Somebody ought to comment in the comment section. God got me. Watch this. He said, there's no need to fear for I'm your God. He says, I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. And I'll keep a firm grip on you. Jesus Christ. That means God promised you four things once you get to the top. Because once you get to the top, you're going to have haters like ever before. He said, I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady and I'll keep a firm grip on you. I don't know who needs to get this message on tonight, but you ought to comment in the comment section, baby. This message was for me. Come on. Who was this for on tonight? Who was this for on tonight? Come on. Who was this for on tonight? Who was this message for on tonight? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just drop that in the comment section. This message was for me. Isaiah 41 and 10 told me, Rabbi Kosaya, that this message was for me. Come on, come on, drop it. Drop it, drop it. This message was for me on tonight. Come on, this message was for me on tonight. Isaiah 41, people of God in 10. This message was for me on tonight. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to see it in the comment section. See, you got to receive it. That's the problem. You ought to comment in the comment section. I received this message. I received this message. I know I'm going higher. Come on, who is this for? Who is this for? Come on. You're decreeing Psalm. I mean, Isaiah 41 and 10. Come on, I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. 41 and 10. 41 and 10, hold on, because I'm about to release something prophetic over this live. Just give me a second, everybody on TikTok, hold on. I'm pinning something over here on Facebook also. Just give me a second on TikTok, y'all be patient with me. Watch this. I love honest people who don't mind saying I'm in a certain situation and this message is for me. We are getting ready on tonight. Watch this. I need you to put in the comment section. Watch this. I'm going higher. Come on, comment that back to back to back. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I'm getting ready to call a I'm going higher seed. 
There are some of you that know that, oh Jesus, you feel like the enemy has put cement on your foot. No matter what you do, you can't come up out of that pit. That financial struggle, the, the arguing in your relationship, come on, the, 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 the bad thoughts in your mind, the feeling overwhelmed, you feel stuck. And you're saying, God, I'm needing to go on, oh Jesus, a little higher. Come on, tonight we're going to sow uh, Isaiah 41 and 10 seed. There are some of you that are going to sow $41 and 10 cent. But there are some of you that are going to sow $141 and 10 cent. Tonight, I want to test your faith on tonight. I want you to put in the comment section, I'm going higher. As you, Rob, let me take this off. Hold on. As you begin to sow, I want you to sow Jesus. As you begin to put your seed in the ground, I want you to sow. Watch this. I'm going higher. There are some of you that watch me every night and you say, this lady is all in my business. She all in my house, but you're afraid to sow. I'm saying take a minute and ask God. Do not sow into my ministry, people of God, unless your faith is lining up with what I'm saying. I said tonight's message was, my God, Rabbi Kosaya, it's at the mountaintop. And then I said that God said, you got to come a little higher, come a little higher. And sometimes when you need to go higher, it's hard to move. Some of you, you can't go higher because crabs got your feet and they keep pulling you back in the bucket. There, oh Jesus, 4110. Come on, there are some of you going to sow $41.10 because you're sowing for yourself. But there are some of you say, I'm in a situation so serious. I got to put the $141.10 in the ground, the $141.10. And the reason I got to sow this seed on tonight is because I need to break the witchcraft. I got to sow this $141.10 on tonight because my relationship looked like it ain't no bouncing back from it. I got to sow this $141.10 on tonight because my business is all messed up. I got to sow this 141.10 on tonight because, my God, I'm putting a seed in the ground for my children and my home. We're sowing $41.10 or 141.10. The ways to give people of God, watch this, Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. It's the same phone number for all those ways to give. Come on. TikTok, it's to the top of the screen for you. Come on, tonight y'all got to push. There are some of you say, I don't have it. It's all I got left. You might need to pray. But I'm saying push. Don't give unless God is telling you to. There are some of you, it's going to be $14.10. But there are some of you say, I got to get on the phone and borrow this $41.10 for somebody. Because this message was for me. Cash app. Chime. Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. If you need an invoice, you're going to text the word. Let me, let me turn this on so y'all can hear people are sewing. Let me turn this down. So y'all can hear this ain't a game. There are people sewing sweeps clean. I got your seed. Katrina Lloyd, I got your seed. Mary Thompson, I got your seed. Shanika, I got your seed. Uh, Key, Mar Kim Key Marine, I got your seed. Stacy, I got your seed. Shanara Pauling, I got your seed. Shea Butter Baby, I got your seed. Brittany Carter Grimes, I got your seed. Yellow Gale Parkland, I got your $2 seed. I receive it like it's $2,000. Kirby Gates, I got your seed. Jaquavius Arlen, I got your $14.14. Tiana, I got your seed. Somebody sold $14. Uh, um, Shantavia, I got it through Chime. There's a lot of people sewing right now. The seed amount tonight is $41.10. Just hold on. I love when people come on TikTok and say crazy things after they've already been on my live a whole hour and a half watching. I don't, I don't argue. I don't fight. I don't give explanations. I'm saying if your faith ain't lined up where my faith at, keep your money. Keep your money. But if you are in a place, people of God, remember I said while you're climbing to the top, there are going to be people that try to distract you. If you are in a place where you know you got to put this seed in the ground, the seed amount I called on tonight, let me pin Apple Pay to the bottom because it's a different number. Apple Pay is a different number. 
It's 954-245-7379. Y'all better not let nobody distract y'all or give it. Them same people were saying amen in the comment section. And the minute the seed is called, they run. And this is why some people's feet are stuck. There are some of you, you say, I felt God all over this life. So I got to sow. I, I got to sow my way out of this. We are sowing an Isaiah 41 and 10 seed. And Isaiah 41 and 10 in the message Bible says this. I've picked you. I haven't dropped you. Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear for I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. I'll keep a firm grip on you. I'm saying so on tonight. $41.10 if you're sewing for yourself. Come on. $141.10. My God, if you're sewing, my God, come on, for multiple reasons. There are some of you need God to do multiple things. If you're sewing via Cash App, I need you to put the phone, full phone number in. Until you see Dr. Shakira M. They've made fake Cash Apps of me. So you got to put in 754 246 754 246-0580. Y'all on the road. Y'all so crazy. The people I'm blocking on TikTok, they so crazy. Because they want to be on my page 24-7. Now they got to make a fake page. Crazy. Listen. Okay? So begin to sew. Begin to sew. The young lady say, I'm sewing whatever I have. <coughs> I'm telling you, God will bless you according to the way you give. You're sowing what you got. There are some of you who sow by your heart. By tagging and sharing. Tagging and sharing. Hold on. Let me block two more people on TikTok. I'm loving it tonight. I'm loving it tonight. Hold on, y'all. They so crazy. They ain't stopping nothing. They just getting blocked. Just getting blocked. Girl, you was the main one on here saying you preaching. Hold on, let me block our money with her messy self. You was the main one saying you preaching. Why? Why do people do that? Y'all can hear me bring the word, but you, it's a problem when you got to sow. Sow your best on tonight. Come on there. Some of you say, I only have $20. I only have $10. Sow your best on tonight. Sow your best on tonight. Sow your best on tonight. If you sold, I want you to drop in the comment section, I sold. The ways to give is Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. If you need an invoice, watch this, people of God. If you need an invoice, text 754-246 for an invoice. Let me call out some more names. Brittany Marshall, C receive. Natasha 411, C receive. Rochelle Williams, C receive. Kimberly Hewley, C receive. Jalissa Spencer, C receive. Anna Spell, C receive. Fabulous flavors. God bless your business. C receive. Keisha, C receive. Michael Thompson, C receive. I love when the men so. Faithful Lewis. Faith Lewis, C receive, Scott Davis, C receive, Angel McClendon, C receive, Gloria, C receive, Laconda Ree, Ruse, C receive, Pamela Mitchell, C receive, Satrina Toon, Satrina, C receive, Jane Major, C receive, Love Alley 95, C receive, Mondre Gillard, C receive, Mocha Frame, C receive, Sheree Brent Smith, C receive Brandy, C receive Nisha M, C receive Lachey, C receive Brayanda, Brynyanda, B R E N Y A D A Gate, C receive. Excuse me, y'all, if I pronounce it wrong. I'm sorry. I received it through PayPal. Lakeisha Dennard, Tamika Smith, C receive. Listen, you guys. Listen, listen, listen. God. Is amazing. God is amazing. God is faithful. God is amazing. God is faithful. Pray and ask God should you give. Don't just give into my ministry. I need your faith to line up with my faith. May the Lord bless everybody who didn't have it to give. And they simply tagged and shared. May he bless you, my God, according, my God, to Jesus, to your heart. You don't, listen, babe. 
Oh, honey, you ain't got to defend me, babe. God got me. I don't be worried about these people. Over on Apple Pay, uh, phone number ending in 2893. See, receive. Thank y'all for the uh, 80,000 likes on TikTok. Phone number ending in 0576. See, receive. Phone number ending in 1121. I'm calling out Cash App Seeds. See, receive. Phone number ending in 6651, C receive. Phone number ending in 4472, C receive. Listen, you guys. God is up to something. We just got to trust him. Okay, I'm pinning it back to the bottom. Yes, it's the same number for Apple Pay. 954-245-7379. Apple Pay is the only one with a different number. If you are sewing via Cash App. Please put in the full phone number into um, Dr. Shakira M. Pop-Up. I have on a black dress. Make sure there's a letter A after the letter R. And make sure you see M. If you see Dr. Shakira M1, Dr. Shakira M20, those are fake cash outs, okay? Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over every seed on tonight. Father God, we just ask first that you bless the people who really didn't have it to give, God, and they wanted to give on tonight. We ask, Lord God, that you just begin to show up and show out for the people of God. Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Father, give them strength as they begin to climb the mountaintop on tonight. Father, we decree and declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Lord, I ask, Lord God, that as they reach the mountain mountaintop. You give them answered prayers. You give them clear vision. I come against every witch and every warlock distracting them on tonight. Father, I ask that their haters, my God, will see them from beneath as they go higher. Accelerate them, God. Take them higher. Do it instantly. Do it suddenly. In the Rabakosaya, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, everybody that sowed a seed on tonight, whether it was the $41, I ask that you bless them. Rabba Kosaya, phone number ending in 2893, I just received your seed. Phone number ending in 6672, I received your seed, $410. My God. Come on, you people, people, people sow according to what they need. And Father, I just ask, Lord God, that you just begin to bless them. Everybody who gave God, whether they gave the $41 and the 10 cent, the $141 and the 10 cent, the $4 and the 10 cent, the $14 and the 10 cent, God, whether they gave a dollar, bless them. Bless them. Bless them according to the way they gave. God, I ask that you move. Oh, Jesus, a thousandfold for him. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If everybody can just drop in the comment section. Amen. Amen means so be it. Amen means it is so. Also, everybody on TikTok, you can click the link in my bio. And it's actual links that will take you to the right cash app, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. You can click the link in my bio. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I only have, watch this, one YouTube. Follow me. I upload every live video thereafter. So you can send this link to your family and friends who don't have social media. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. I only have one TikTok. I don't have any orphanages. I'm not messaging anybody. I'm not requesting any cash apps. Those are fake people. I have one um, TikTok. It's Evangelist Shakira. And I recently just hit 60,000 followers. So you guys, please use wisdom. Please report the page. Follow me, you guys, on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. Look for the blue check. I only have one Instagram. Follow me also, people of God, on Facebook, most importantly, because I'm there the most. If you don't have a Facebook, baby, make one just to follow me. You ain't got to put no pictures on it just to get the word. Follow me on Facebook at Shakira McFadden. Hit follow then hit favorites. It's important that you click favorites after you hit follow. So it let you know every time I'm live. I love you guys. God bless you guys. I'll see you at the top of the mountain. I'm going to end TikTok first, you guys. 
Everybody on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. May you sleep with a different level of peace on tonight. I'm exhausted. I just came from ministering out in revival. Okay, she said, I sold on, on Zelle. Thank you so much, Colette. If you need an invoice, text. Text the phone number 754-246-0580. Also, go and order my new book on Amazon. It's called I Fell in Love with a Thug on Amazon. You have to go up, go on Amazon, then click on books. Once you click on the word books, you have to click on books because it's rated R. It's deep, it's raw, it's uncut. Click on the word books, then type in either Shakira McFadden or I Fell in Love with a Thug or it will not come up. Also, if you haven't got my book, I never knew my yes would cause me so much pain. You can get that on Amazon also. Oh, you guys, listen. I have um, some, um, I'm releasing them, actually. Um, um, they will drop like December the 27th, between the December the 27th and December the 30th. I don't end the TikTok, so y'all going to be the first um uh, people to know December the 27th through the December the 31st I'm working on my prayer city now um, I'm building these prayer kits and it's uh, uh, their new year new me prayer kits um, and these prayer kits people of God they're going to come with your prayer shawls that you cover your head with. I'm going to lay at the altar praying over them. It's going to come with your anointing oil. It's going to come with my prayer CD. My God. Come on. It's going to come with so many different things in it. Hear me and hear me well. It's going to also come with your bread um, and wine. It's called communion. It's going to. Oh, Jesus Christ. When I tell you it's going to set you for the new year. I'm talking about you going to be able. If your kids are bound up. To just lay this on them. My God. God. You have a headache. You're going to be able to lay this across your head. I'm telling you. So look out for these. Um, I'm going to lay at the altar with them. You're going to want to get your new year, new me prayer kits. Okay. So you'll hear more about that later. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Good night. I'll see you at the top of the mountain.